hey guys, before we start today, I wanted to tell you about a pretty cool conference that's coming up. It's called the Thrive Conference. It's being held by BC Food and Bev. It's going to be on June 15th at the Park Hotel in Vancouver. It's going to be a really great day of TEDx style talks. You're going to get a chance to network and build community, do some laughing, have a cocktail, have some lunch. Um, there's going to be some pretty amazing inspirational speakers there. Uh, make sure you head to www.foodprobc.com and sign up there. June 15th, Park Hotel in Vancouver, Thrive Conference by Elisa and BC Food and Bev. It's awesome. nice to meet you. Nice to meet you guys. Absolutely. Yeah, you as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I'm, in, uh, uh, I'm in New Orleans. Oh, you are? Oh, yeah. Lovely. Okay, yeah, yeah. that's awesome. Are you... Uh, are You're you down there just to be down, down there. there. Yeah, I, I go down. I I come down. I've come down every year since 1991 for wow. the jazz fest. Okay, and, oh, lovely. A uh, second home uh, for me down here. So the music is incredible. Yeah. Uh, it's not just jazz. It's everything. It's rock. It's blues. It's gospel. It's Cajun. Mm -hmm. It's uh, um, you know. So like the festival this weekend is you know. Lizzo and Ed Sheeran and Dead and Co. And as my daughter mm -hmm. likes to say, it's like um, Coachella for old people. <laughs> you know what? Old people need a Coachella. Thank you. So Ken. Good. Thank That's you. That's it. That's Thank it. You. No, writes. no, no, no. I, I think I, I think he's just I as old. Don't kid yourself. I think it's the other way around. I think if Coachella could be anything that you know, if Coachella wanted to be something when it grows up, is where you are. Uh, yeah. You know? Super even better, it's yeah. Super civilized, like uh, it's all outdoors. It's like fifteen stages. Yeah. That's uh, the awesome. Food, the food's incredible. You know, people walk around have a nice beer, a glass of wine. Yeah. It's very civilized. That's no. as it should be. Yeah, yeah exactly. No getting that's high in the be. desert stuff. That's Coachella stuff. You know what I mean? Like that's yeah. all just lightweight yeah. stuff. Like drop, this is the drop, real drop some ass real deal. Burning, man. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 How no, exciting is that? Is, Go listen to some nice Coachella jazz, man. Stuff, Go so. listen to some actual yeah. real musicians. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. People can yeah. do their shit yeah. on stage, yeah. right? Two yeah. Seconds. You got it. Two seconds. Two seconds. Two seconds. Um, I guess it sounds terrible because I remember what's what's Bob do. Bob is the CEO uh, at Palmer Stamnas. Palmer Stamnas, that's right. Yes. That was that enlightening. It's because you know I was trying to think the PS and I know it was PS something. Yeah. That's PS right. and Co. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But um, yeah, when he comes back, um, he's going to be speaking at Fupro Twenty Three. Um, so we thought we'd connect with him and and oh. see what's going on there. There you are. There we are. All yeah. good. Sorry about no, that. No worries. No, no, no worries. All good. All good. All good. So, so I was asking Phil, I said, oh, yeah. I can't remember. What was Bob do? <laughs> <laughs> well, and, and I said, look, he's the CEO at Palmer Stennis. Oh, yeah. Oh, how yeah. was that? And Kenny was like, yeah, I'm okay with that. <laughs> okay. What, 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 like, what is, what is that? <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I just know that that sounds good. Yeah. Okay. Good. Yeah. yeah. Good. Good for Bob. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, Bob. So, what do you do? Well, yeah. Let me give you guys some context. <laughs> so, I um, so I ha have uh, I'm the CEO and a partner in a marketing communications group. I started my own agency 33 years ago. <clears throat> um, so you know, big clients uh, in that marketing and advertising agency world um, have a few agencies in our roster. Um, and uh, my partner is a guy named Frank Palmer, who's a very famous, iconic Canadian advertising legend. So we do lots of work for really cool clients. Um, and what led us into the food world was um, uh, we've done a lot of work with clients over the years in terms of branding and creative and design and what industry specifically to, in the old days like to, to oh, the you know, that done, i graduated we've done we've done, uh, we've done uh, you know uh, saputo we did a whole rebrand for them mm -hmm. okay uh, we've worked with uh, uh, we've worked with uh, we helped rebrand uh, 
Scuda Farms. Uh, we've done El Camino chocolates. Uh, so yeah, we're doing we're doing work in that world. But what the connection here, kind of what led us into this world was um, Smart Suites. So oh, yeah. Tara Bosch. Uh, so uh, an advisor to Smart Suites, a guy by the name of Eric Patel, came to me and said, uh, "Hey, look, there's this young company. It's like these three or four young women." They need some office space. And I own our building. We're at six in Ontario. And we donate space. Uh, we've got a partnership with Center for Digital Media. We donate space to any startup that comes out of CDM. Mm -hmm. So I said, yeah, I can give them some space. So these you know, four or five young women moved into our building. And uh, we started to you know, have a relationship with them. And we helped them out a little bit. And they'd come to us. And they'd say, what do you think of this? And, help them out on their social or help them out on, you know, our opinion on their package design or you know, whatever, whatever, what, very informal. And I watched them grow. Um, I watched them grow from these four or five women and saw them out in grocery stores and very energetic and very enthusiastic and really, you know, committed to this product, Smart Suites. And, uh, and watched them grow over a period of, you know, kind of a year and a half to um, 50 some people and then watch them be sold for a very large amount of money. And all the while I'm thinking to myself, you know, they're not the only food company that needs not only the help we're providing, but they need other help. Right. Like they need help with um, sales, distribution. Right a mm -hmm. co-blocker, mm -hmm. um, you know, whatever, uh, distribution. Um, the common denominator was all of these food companies as I, you know, came to start to know different food companies through the connection with Smart Suites, was they all wanted to make the world better, but they just, you know, struggled with kind of what that looked like. And right at the top of the list of what those companies need typically is capital, is, is money. So, um, I have very good friends that own the largest independent uh, communications group in Alberta, a company called ZGM. And I knew that they were invested into the sustainable food world. Um, they've invested uh, in a few brands, uh, including uh, an organization called Uproot, which is kind of Alberta's version of Legends Hall or what Legends Hall was. So I said to them, look, I've got this idea of forming a company. And the company on the services side, call it the Deloitte of Sustainable Food, that we will provide access to these food brands for the services they require by industry expertise, be it a co-packer, be it a broker, be it a manufacturer, be it a distributor, uh, be it um, somebody who can help them with their books, Right. It, you know, so, so uh, be it, you know, someone who can help them with insurance, merchandising. So, and I, and I said, uh, on, on the capital side, we should be looking at helping these companies. So we established the ethical food group and the ethical food group is there to help it with those services with like-minded ethical companies that have their own ethical DNA, that have their own other B Corp certification or a commitment to making the world better um, so that that supply chain is enhanced by that sustainable um, operating system. And, and then capital through the Ethical Food Fund. And the Ethical Food Fund um, is capital that's there to, to, to help those brands. So we created it and, uh, and here we are today. We've invested in four brands. Uh, Tomorrow Foods, Wise Coffee, Leaf Ice Tea, Humble Potato Chips, and um, Uproot, the food collective in Alberta that I referenced. So that was that was the genesis of of the ethical mm. food and ethical food fund. And so, you know, we're we're the people doing helping, obviously in in and around the marketing work and the branding work and the creative work. Um, but more importantly were the catalyst in helping those guide those brands in terms of the resources that they require. Um, and it's a unique model um, in that 
you know, we're able to um, recommend and bring together, um, you know, I'll use an example, someone like uh, uh, Amanda Kenny, who owns Hive Naturals. Mm -hmm. So Amanda went from being, you know, a fruit food brokerage to strictly doing merchandising. So we're able to say to a brand, you know, Hive is, 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 a, is a company that's committed to a more ethical way of doing business. And certainly the brands that they represent uh, are as well. Yeah. Right. So you, Brand X, should work with Amanda. Let's make the intro. And so it's a really interesting ecosystem uh, that we've established um, of like-minded companies helping each other and helping the brands that we and they represent. Cool. The, cool. You know what? Those are, and some of those we've are had, we've had many of those people favorite. on the podcast. I mean, Alicia yeah. and Jeff. Yeah. You know, yeah. they're just Dean. fantastic people. Yeah. Dean with this great yeah. podcast with Dean's Dean. Dean's podcast just was such awesome. a smart guy. He's so yeah. great. Um, and then Amanda's amazing. And Amanda's, as well. yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Hers is yeah. Yeah. Out, I guess, right? Yeah. 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 They're a good crew, right? And it's a good industry. And it's a, it's Very actually a really good yeah. industry. Yeah. yeah. It, it, it's it, a good it, people. It, it really is. And, and what makes the industry really uh, interesting? And, and I actually draw some parallels to the cannabis uh, in, industry where, it's an interesting world where uh, these brands are very much willing and wanting to help uh, almost their competitors. There's this kind of totally. uh, mindset of, um, you know, I want to help you succeed and, and, and vice versa. So, so it's, yeah. that's pretty cool and very unusual in business in general, uh, yeah. just, you know, just to see that. Yeah. So, so yeah, that's, uh, so I, you know, I've loved this food world and I was very humbled that, you know, Alicia uh, and James asked me to, you know, to 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 speak, and I uh, at Food Pro and kind of, uh, I think from a little bit of a different, you know, lens. Um, a, uh, you know, from from the branding side of things, um, but also uh, from the sustainable and the ethical uh, part of of business, and that's really been my a lot of my background and my own journey in in working with kind of corporate Canada in and around. Uh, what doing the right thing looks like and means primarily through a marketing perspective uh, led. Yeah, we love this. We, we, That's awesome, man. We are looking forward to hearing you speak. I, I think um, the two of us have, have spent kind of five and a half years wandering through, you know, this, the same, same spoo food space, just reveling at the stories, right? Like yeah. These, yeah. these just wonderful, wonderful entrepreneurs trying to move, yeah. you know, things forward and, and make our, you know, undo, I think it's awesome. in some senses, some of the burning dumpster fire that we've left behind us from, exactly. from corporate. Totally. Exactly. <laughs> See, I love you, right? So, so we've loved it. I, I think um, listening to you speak there will be very, I think it'd be very interesting so, because we yeah. started, you know, I mean, I, when I was, when I first started buying, we, we started getting more and more into natural foods yeah. and these types of people. And it yeah. is a unique industry where they, I, I think it's, it's truly, nice to see that they all realize there's enough business for everybody so helping each other actually helps the greater the greater good and helps each individual player through which the conventional side doesn't seem to get sometimes that's awesome so we'll um, have to make sure people come to food pro yep. sign yeah, up for your bc food and bev membership right you know I, come out yeah i think i think um i think that uh, uh the tickets are going you know really really well um i mean I, you guys were at the event last year no, I, I take, no, no. Yeah, no. It, it, It'll be it, this year. Yeah, it was. It was. It was yeah. great. It was. It was great. Yeah. I mean, tons of energy. Really good speakers. Um. So yeah, no, it should be good. I'm. I'm looking forward it. to. I'm looking forward to meeting you too, which would be nice. Me so, too. Me yeah. too. That's awesome. Yeah. I'll really. Yeah, you love go that. listen to music and just um, try to stay yeah. out of trouble. Enjoy yourself. Thank you so well, much. Thanks, and then guys. We'll, we'll see you at Food Pro. We'll see you at Food Pro. Awesome. Look forward to it. All right. Thanks, Bob. Thanks, Bob. Take care, man. Bye. Bye.